Hi welcome back. Today we shall be painting realistic foliage. For that we need a sky. There we go, we have a sky. And now let's go ahead with the blocking in part. Now on my palette as you can see I have some lime yellow, titanium white, yellow ochre, Prussian blue, black and sap green. So now we'll take a mid-tone color. So we'll mix in some white and some black, some sap green some yellow ochre and some lime yellow there we go we get a mid-tone color that looks light on the palette at first but then when you're gonna come and drop it over here but when we drop on the surface of the canvas it's gonna look darker grabbing some lime yellow and yellow ochre grabbing more of sap green that is the main color Grab in some black and just drop it here and there. Make sure that the blocking in part is very, very rough. You can add in some paint thinner, or if you're painting in water based acrylics or watercolors, you may add in some water. And as we come over there at the back, to that is towards the right in this scenario will have it a bit mistier and lighter and also you may ensure that you cover up the top part look at that like for example here i need not go like that i can go a bit upward there and just block that color and we'll grab in some sap green and black and mix them all together i just sort of drop in just over here and there randomly because we want this to be in mid-tone color not dark or not too light okay something like that now after the blocking in part we need to go and add in some shadows in the form of textures so we'll take in some sap green and some midnight black that was midnight black and i'll take that on that same brush the modified flat brush which is bigger and let's go right over here and drop in the textures should go even darker And here I would suggest you to load in very little paint and tap it very lightly. Some parts are going to be very thick, some parts are very dense, some are in the lighter side. And let the bottom be slightly darker than the top. Add in some Prussian blue. Look at that. That itself is making it look realistic. And the second step itself, maybe it will get a bit dark over here. Look at that, that's going to add in the depth and makes your painting look realistic and three dimensional and makes it look more like a photograph. Okay, something like that. Add in some more sap green to that. You may make some variations in color shades just a bit look at that that's looking realistic but that's looking flat at the same time so we'll go a step further and make them look realistic and three-dimensional and in the meanwhile we'll take in some sap green and mix it with some lime yellow and some yellow ochre just to make it look realistic and some white don't lose the warmth i've taken this on my tree and texture brush Let's come right over here and drop in the grassland. Add in more of your local. Create that variation. And let's go ahead and drop in that same color over here too. Just a bit. Not much, just a bit. Fair enough. And now let's go ahead and place in some more textures on this grass. Just a bit. Just over here and there, not much. With that same brush. Grab in some yellow ochre. Look at that. Now this is completely dry and let's go ahead with the highlights. 
so we'll take in some sap green lime yellow and just a touch of yellow ochre and some white mostly sap green and lime yellow don't want to go too bright in the first coat itself and i've taken the modified flat brush let's come right over here and place in the highlights added more of lime yellow load in some thick paint and let's come over here and just drop in some more of that and over here too just the way we applied some darkness some textures the same principle holds good over here too that is to tap it very lightly and leave in a lot of that cap and you may skip some spots look at that just like that so over here we're going to consider each stroke as a dot for example there's some dot another one and like that but make sure that there's some gap between each dot now i've added in some yellow ochre to that very same pile of paint load in some decent amount of paint that is some thick paint and i've not added any paint thinner each time when you reload your brush make sure that you make some subtle changes to the color okay something like that and loading the tip of that brush just sort of placing it right over there try different angles different shapes now let's take in some black on a bigger modified flat brush let's drop in the shadows just over here and there and now let's go ahead and place in another coat of highlight now i've added some lime yellow to that very same pile of paint don't overdo in the same place now i'm mixing some white yellow ochre and sap green onto that very same brush onto that very same pile of paint and let's think of some highlights over here again i'm loading in thick paint generally yellow ochre makes the painting look more realistic and even this is going to be just over here and there not much just a bit that will define each and every stroke go back to some sap green this sort of place it right over there make sure that you skip some spots that is also equally important and maybe we're gonna have it right over here too that's way too thick take off the excess paint with that it's that easy don't lose the contrast and we'll have just a bit at the top just at the top and very little as you come downwards look at that skip some spots so this is more like a mountain with a lot of trees foliage plants grass and all of that moreover this also adds to the depth makes your painting look three dimensional very little at the bottom very very little and tapping it very lightly look at that now i'll take in some black on that bigger modified flat brush and let's add in the separations also some textures over here now i'll go to some yellow ochre and some sap green without cleaning the brush load the brush full of paint just tap it open the bristles and let's drop in a bush right over here taking more of lime yellow skip some spots over here too make them very irregular fair enough now it's some yellow ochre and black mostly black yellow ochre just for some flavor on that bigger modified flat brush i'm gonna load in thick paint let's come right over here at the bottom of this bush 
let's drop in keep on moving okay something like that and just a bit of separation over here too is needed I'm just gonna give it a slight tap to make it soft just a bit over here and there to add in that contrast load in some of that highlight color mixed with sap green yellow ochre white lemon yellow or lime yellow and just make them look grouped like for example here is there is here there is a group and over here one and over here and let's add in some highlights to this don't want to tap too hard that we lose the texture okay with this i come to the end of this lesson i hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching